I mean, Scarlett is, as everybody knows, like such an incredible actress that um, it was no surprise to any of us that she was also able to take that incredible talent and turn it into like comedy performance. I mean, she's like, you could give her any line. Like, I, you know, we'd like hand her post-its of like new lines and she'd just like look at it, uh-huh, and just like nail the timing of it. Like, honestly, like no one I've ever seen. Like she can nail it and she's also so present in the moment as an actress and so like giving that she also was so funny in just like the most subtle nuanced ways because she's so good at like listening and reacting because she's such a good actress that like her dramatic abilities was just like, the, it was she could just like turn a switch and then all of a sudden their comedic abilities. So it's like, it was like honestly a dream to work with a actress of that such like range and talent. It was pretty cool for me. <laughs> I would do it again. <laughs> Jillian is like so naturally liquid funny. I mean, I've worked with a lot of comedic actors and, and the thing that I think that she's just so incredible at is she can give you something different on every take, but they're all they all work for the scene. It's not like wild and crazy, new, totally new ideas. It's just like subtle little things. So like you can look through four or five takes and every take gives you something just slightly different, but equally as brilliant. She really is like, she's so, so, so gifted. I love her. I mean, yeah, you ever heard of Kate McKinnon? You heard she's funny? <laughs> Yeah, it's because she's so insanely talented and brilliant and like just she, you know, character of Pippa is based on our real friend Pippa and she was able to take like the best parts of real life Pippa and also like infuse it with Kate brilliance to give us like, like a totally new just like charismatic character that like literally just her, the slightest move of her face will make like an audience of 400 people like die laughing. I mean, she has... It's almost magical, I would say. And I also, what's so great is that this is, at least for me, like the most grounded I've ever seen Kate, really, and for a whole feature length. And she really was able to like still make it just still as magnetic as funny, but also have some real emotional grounded moments too. And so to see that, um, I think people are gonna be really excited to see. I've, I've met Alana. Um, Alana at this point is truly like, as if she is like my sister or cousin or something. Like, I mean, I, we have like uh, such a shorthand that sometimes we don't even have to like fully uh, construct sentences to communicate at this point. Um, and, you know, obviously I, I love working with her so much and to be able to have um, somebody who's just so charismatic uh, that I can like work with all the time is just like such a gift and also to be able to have also such a good friend on set um, was also really really special for me. Zoe is going to slay the world because people are going to find out she is hilarious. I mean she would come in with so many ideas about Blair. I mean, she like, there is a little IRL Blair in Zoe. So she was able to fully immerse herself in the character. And I mean, she is so funny and sharp and fun. And just like the character is like a kind of like a tricky character because she's like a little bit snobby and can be a little dry, but you also, she made it so that you also fall in love with her immediately too. Um, so, I mean, I think people are going to be really excited and surprised to see that she's able to uh, kill a punchline and her most subtle little things she does are just so, oh, so good. I think people are going to be really, really excited to see that she can, she can slay along with the, the comedy kids. <laughs>